Okay, when I was in the Navy, and I went into the Navy, and uh, in San Diego, though, and uh, uh, your, your first three, four weeks you're there, and then they finally give you a, an overnight leave. And here I am, I go into San Diego, and uh, I'm in the, standing on the corner there, wondering what to do with myself. Well, maybe I'll go to a movie all night. And in those days, they had the movies going. When you paid for it, you paid for a movie, watch a movie, and then it turns around. You can sit again, and you see them another movie again. And uh, I've had the occasion. Uh, uh, in other words, in my civilian life before that, I go to a movie, and then I sit and I see the movie two times after that. And so I'm standing on the corner, and well, in those days, they had this fellow walking around, a little kid walking around selling newspapers. Hey, who wants to buy newspapers? And he holds them under his arm. It wasn't all in a store or anything such as that. It was the, the boy is selling a newspaper, and he's saying, newspaper, newspaper. And he comes over to me, and he says, hey, Taylor, you want to buy a newspaper? No, I, I don't want to buy a newspaper. Thanks. Go, go ask somebody else. And he said, no, no, I've been asking everybody, how about you buy a newspaper? I don't want to buy a newspaper, he said. And he finally says, well, I'll tell you what, if you can, if I tell you how many birthdays you've had and, and uh, what state you were born in, would you buy a newspaper? And I thought to myself, you know, I want to see what, what this is all about. And I said, yeah. And so he says to me, well, here's what it is. You were born, you had one birthday and all the rest of anniversaries, and you were born in a state of infancy. And I turned around, I looked at that little kid, I said to myself, he was really coached real well because I bought the newspaper, <laughs> didn't read it, but at least I learned something that I had been passing on for years to other people, and so that they would know that uh, little something from the Navy, my leave on the Navy. And that's that story. So that was on your leave. Yeah. That's a cute story. I've heard that over and over. And you always use it. That's why I wished you, yeah. but uh, earlier this month, a happy anniversary, not a happy birthday. Oh, I, yeah. Remember? I did. I, I told you happy And I'm going to tell you this joke now that I shouldn't really because it, it, it is not good. It's not it, not dirty in a sense, but it's just not right. And But I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I haven't told many people this, but I'll tell you. When I was in the Navy, and I was an electrician, and I had a little farce in there with the people left me, and I ended up serving food. That was what he said. I wanted out. I said, I want, I want to go to government. Why? It goes on this story. Why? Why did I do this? Because I went into the electrician shack and all of these older fellows, and here I'm the new one, so they hand me a brush and paint, and they tell me, go down and paint this pee tank. It, it's called a pee tank because it's below decks, and it's, you store things in there, and it's empty, so I'm painting, painting. Then I come up for the air, I got my head up for the air, and those guys are smart Alex, son of a bitches, they stand there, and they, they're sitting on the shop, bench and everything, and then finally they take their foot and they put it on my head and they say, just go down and don't breathe too much and paint. <laughs> and so when I came up, I said, oh, okay. And then I met the chief electrician there. I said, chief, how do I go about getting a, getting out of the, the gang and uh, going into gunnery? Because that's the thing that I'm really interested in is gunnery. Just, oh, he says to me, uh, you, did you go to school for electrician? I said, uh, yeah. Oh, he says, well, I'll see what I can do. And the next day, my name came out for mess cooking, which means I got to go serve food to the sailors at every one, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so, so we went and went, and you and me at the place where, where, uh, where, where uh, he asked me, if, and somebody once asked me if uh, I forgot what you say. But the point was that I, in serving food, when you had mass, uh, 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 when you had the planes coming in and things, and you were given a post, my post was 
in the ar in the armory, which is down below where all the shells and the powder and everything is there. And I had to go there instead of going into a position somewhere on deck. And so I'm in the I'm I'm there, but you would not believe it. Now this isn't fit necessarily to to uh, tell other people, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I'm in the armory there because that's what my job was when when you have when you're under attack or you're launching shells from five inch. We send down with a note. I want the five inch shells, and you put those and you send those up. And believe it or not, I was there. And I was standing there watching these guys when they weren't asking for any, any uh, 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 the ammunition or whatever. And there's a lot of it that falls on the floor here, around there. And these young, stupid son of a bitch and kids are sitting there, are sitting there and lighting matches and, and, and expressing gas. And they're finding out if it's burns. <laughs> I said, I said, you stupid asses. I said, you got goddamn powder all over the floor and everything, and you got your plane with the matches. Oh, that uh, nothing happened. We do it before. I said, you'll blow the whole damn ship up if you. Uh, yeah, we're all right. I said, if you don't stop right now, I said, I'm calling in right ahead and getting the, 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 uh, the uh, armory guy in. And they they stopped for now, but I'm sure that they went back and lit matches to see if the gas was was flammable. In the armory, though. In the armory. <laughs> and, hey, Jesus. And they I don't need forget. to find out if that's flammable. Yeah. You, you had other flammable stuff in there. <laughs> oh, well, you think that some of the bags and some of the powder falls on the floor. It's like saying, oh, there's nothing there other than shells and powder uh, bags, and uh, they don't leave. Well, they're all just on the floor. And I just didn't think it was right. <laughs> Light matches in a situation such as that. That's one of the stories. Uh, right now, I can't think of too many stories. Uh, uh, we can do more stories next time. Well, uh, next time I think I'll show you used to be on the ship. My ship now is, is uh, I think it's been decommissioned and it's back in again. Yeah, it's been decommissioned and, and uh, it's back out again. In, uh, they didn't jump that uh, ship? They didn't, what you call, uh, what do they call it? Uh, they tear it down for metal. Oh, okay, so they use part of it? No, it's there and it's uh, there. They, they've got a crew on there because I ran into a crew. I said, hey, wasn't it discont uh, discontinued, uh, the, uh, the ship? Yeah, they'll put back into service. I don't. Mm -hmm. I knew the number of the ship, and I can't remember. 653. Ship six, 653. What kind of ship? Destroyer, DD Destroyer. 653. Because I remember I bought you that hat. I, I knew the ship number, and I, I don't think I wrote it down. Gary yeah. probably remembered, though. He always remembers and these That's things. what uh, there was. And they, they so were a good ship bunch. D... Huh? You said the ship is D? Well, no, the way they they nail it as DD, which means the destroyer, 653. 653. Now, that tells you right away, I don't remember what they used to mark off for cruisers and whatever, but this tells you right away the destroyers. And, uh, wow. Right now, I can't think of any other story. But, no, but uh, that ship went out, you were on it, what year? 1944, 40, tail end of 43 or 44. 43 and 44. Yeah. You were on that ship when they were doing the signing. And your ship was next or not far from the treaty that they signed. Oh yeah. yeah. You were like right. You could see the ship that they were that was they were signing the treaty. That's right. That's right. That's it right there in Tokyo Bay. Wow. Yeah. The end of World War Two. Mm -hmm. Did you get to go home right after they signed? <laughs> <laughs> Say, okay, they signed, I'm going home. <laughs> no? No, they, I had to put in a little more time. That's the part. When I signed up, I signed up at 17. When you sign at 17, you stay till you're 21. <gasps> no ifs, ands, or whatever. So here it was, the war was over. 
and I still had about another year to go. So, after I got this knocked off of this charge, off of this ship, and then I went over there, they said, okay, where should you? They probably thought to themselves, well, where, where should we put them? Well, by golly, they sent me to Alaska. So I went to the uh, Unalaska, they call it Unalaska, but it's in the, uh, uh, the Alaskan area. And uh, I was uh, not too bad, but it was working with an electrician uh, on land rather than on a ship, which is a little bit different because you, you don't work with grounds on, uh, on the ship. Wow. That was before it was a state. Long before it was a state. What? Alaska wasn't even a state then. Yes, it, it was. Oh, yeah. No. I don't what? know if you refer to a state. It wasn't one of the 50 states back then in 1940. No, because I can remember in grammar school, this is going to date me, I can remember in grammar school them coming to collect all the flags because we now had Hawaii and Alaska added on and they collected all the flags out of Hancock Park School. To, they said they were going to burn them and they brought in the new flags with the 50 stars on it. Oh. So when did it become a we're state? Do you I wish you yeah. know this, right? Gary, Gary, you became yeah. a citizen yeah. of the United States. You have to know this. I was born here. I don't need to know this. I, I'm thinking 58, but that uh, could yeah, be I don't wrong. Re, you, no, I don't think it would have been 58. Maybe it was 58. I just remember them coming into the classroom. 58? No. Before 58? Yes, the war was over in 45. No, when Alaska and oh. Hawaii became states. Oh, when, when they actually that, became that part of the, that, that the 50 remember. states. But I remember them coming to collect the flags out of the classroom, hmm. and they said they were folding them all up, taking them away, and they all had to be burned. I'm sure not oh. all of them were. That's what they said. That's what they told us kids. And then they brought in the new, the new flags. That was in grammar school. Yeah, that's a... But I, I remember that. Because I thought, what a waste. Why are they burning good flags? <laughs> but yeah. they, they came and brought the new flags in. The, yeah. Because there were 48 stars, and they had to change them to 50. Wow. Well, it's 63. Right? Uh, pardon me, DD-653 is a map. That was the name of the ship. And it was right over there in Tokyo Bay when they were signing up on that carrier or whatever the hell it was. And uh, it was right there when they signed up. And I was somewhere around there when they when they had the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, typhoon? Huh? Typhoon? The typhoon. Oh, I had two uh, typhoons. I can remember going through three typhoons. They quit serving food. They were serve, They used to serve you, and then you'd go over there, and then when you were walking, like walking back and forth, that, that it would go out of your hand because the, the ship drops. When it goes, when the ship goes forward, you got a big, uh, uh, like a bank, coming at you, and it goes up, and and then it goes to the other side. You go, and then it drops. And that's when he sit through the typhoons. Man, I used to hold on to the racks. I wake up in the morning, my my back hurt because I was rolling around in it. Yeah, they they had the typhoons. I remember there was two or three of them we went through. And that's all. I thought the damn ship was going to sink, but uh, it didn't. And, uh, and then when I uh, when my time was up and, and they got transferred. When I still had time to go, about a year ago, they sent me to Alaska. And that wasn't too, too bad. And you know, then you told me, from Alaska, you're working on poles and stuff, or climbing yeah, poles. Yeah, climbing poles with the hooks. But and then you told me about the trip coming home. When you were coming home, you didn't know if you were going to make it home. Oh, Dad. That they put you on some plane that was really bad. You yeah. thought, gosh, you made it through the Army and I mean, the Navy, and now you don't even know if you're going to make it home. Yeah, it takes off, and then it's got problems. <laughs> Go to a, I forget, Charleston, South Carolina, to Oladia, Kansas, and it lands there. Okay, everybody off the plane. They off the plane, they have a big conference with the pilot and everything. Okay, we're going to try. Everybody back into the plane. Oh, they're going to try. <laughs> then they start going, the damn thing started uh, acting up again, the engine. So they came down. Everybody off the plane. 
So what did they do? They take off for, from a lady of Kansas without us, and it must have been, the engine must have been firing, so they landed again, and then they, when they take off, they, they went to Amarillo, Texas. I always remember that. And so the ship went down with all the guys on it, down to Amarillo, Texas, and they start going. We're gonna try again. So off they do is try again. Try when you're up in the air, you don't have a lot to try. And you the have motor to... and the motors are firing. <laughs> Come back down, everybody. They land there. Everybody off the plane. That's about 50 of us. Everybody off the plane. So we all get off the plane and we stand there. This I remember. <laughs> they they took her around. They turn around and they go down to the airway, out to the end of this row, to the end of the runway. And then they start going like mad. What they did was they feathered the air because they burned out one starter. They couldn't start the plane. So they, they feathered the, the propeller in such a way that it spins when you're draw, going. And that's how they started it up instead of a starter. Okay, now you got four engines going again. It's like we're starting a car. Come back again there. Everybody, off, uh, everybody on the plane to get on the plane turn around and go back to the end of the uh, runway and they take off and all of a sudden, bang! What was all of that? They went over there, opened the door and they looked and they blew a tire. So, go back, everybody, and uh, <laughs> so every time they wanted to start, they had to feather the, uh, the propellers in such a way that it would spin and go. And then uh, finally, finally, I guess uh, they, 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 we laid over. And so it took four days to come from Charleston, South Carolina to uh, near San Francisco. Uh, I forget what the name of it was, but let's assume it was in San Francisco. Four days to come there because of the... Uh, uh, four days to get home? Four days to get... No, I wasn't going. It was going there to, to San Francisco near San Francisco, and landed there. Jesus, when I got out of that plane there, I was all in the I kind of go over and kiss the ground that it landed. Well, how'd you get home from San Francisco? How'd you get back to LA? Yeah, that was another time. Another after. plane? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that, they, they put me under something else. I forget what the hell it was even. And uh, then when it came time to go, uh, they had another airplane. But. I don't know what, but the most important thing is it, it went from one city to the other to start with. And then and then I was walking around at night when we were staying overnight, and one of those guards that walks around, he said, oh, you're on that draft that's going? Yeah. <laughs> that plane hasn't, hasn't been uh, looked over or been inspected enough, and it's a shame that you, they're using it. I said, oh, I didn't give it a second thought. Then it starts with this baloney. And he was right, blowing tires and burning out starters and you know, things such as that. And uh, it, finally, it finally started to go. But it took a long time to get that thing going. Oh my gosh. Well, you made it home though. Yeah. It made it back to New San Francisco and then it took one south. And uh, that one, there was no problem with that one at, at all. No problem whatsoever from near San Francisco. I think it was called, oh, I remember now, Alameda, Alameda, California, uh, California, which I think is near San Francisco. You want to sit down? So you went into the service at 17, what year was that? Do you remember what year you went into the service? No, I don't remember, but it has to be something like... Uh, 42? 41? The end of the day, land of 43, no, the war was no, over. No, but you went into the service before the war was over. Yeah. That's right. And the, the, uh, I was the one that I got that ship. That was a ship. And you know that ship is in service now in different places? And I just got a letter from, from the... Uh, the uh, Somebody Oh, I over. signed you up for something once. I don't even know what that organization's called that, with that ship. I don't know. I'm going to have to look. I got it. I just got it yesterday or the other day. Wow. And they used to send it around once. 
Once every second month or something. I'll have to look that up. Well, maybe it's so dark. We're sitting in the dark. How does it look, Gary, the camera? 20 minutes. Well, he said we've taped 20 minutes. We could do it again another day. We, uh, can you even see us in the dark? I can, but it, it changes. Um, oh, it, the screen changes. The, the screen will change, I think, the way it picks up. All right. So yeah. I guess, I guess this we is should my go daddy. In. It's getting a yeah, little cool. It's getting cool. It's dark. It's beautiful. This is the birthday girl you can have. Who is that over there? Everybody. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's the birthday girl. And we just had the garden tour before it got dark. Well, I'll thank my husband, the cameraman. So it's not a, so, but it's not a birthday. It's, it's not a birthday. It's a, it's a fifth year anniversary, right? It's an anniversary. It's an anniversary because you're only born once, right? Or were you born more than once? No, <laughs> just one time. So it's only it's a five year anniversary of your birthday, right? Okay. Happy right. birthday. I got the jacket on. You have a jacket on. I know it's cool. Yeah, it's well, kind of cool. I guess we'll go in and we'll say goodbye to everybody before they all leave. And that's our video for today. So take care. Don't forget to eat what you grow. Yeah, I went through there. It's got a lot of stuff growing in our house.